Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you my stream deck. After you see my stream deck right here, I want to talk to you about the 5.1 update that stream deck have announced and released to the public. So let's dive into it and I'm going to show you the new feature that you can have and use on your stream deck. As you can see, here is my Stream Deck application and uh, here I have my lights, I have Premiere Pro, I have Audience, I have YouTube, all other things but I want to concentrate today on 5.1 update and here I have this as you can see right here this is the new options that you get once you install the 5.1 update the thing is that you can create pages instead of uh, folders or additional to folders because folders still exist here as you can see create a folders but once you create a page you will get uh, options here how to deal with the pages so let's say you going to create a new profile and a new profile you can create a page page number one page number two and page number three and four so here you have you can move between them and once you create automatically page number two you come here to a next page so if you go into here you get the next page but then you can go also back to the first page and if you go to the third page you can go to next one number four and previous number two so and if you get to four of course four is the last one so you don't have next page but of course you can create as many pages as you want so this is how you create uh, pages now for example, you make one page in this profile, you create a page, you put one timer. And then you move to the next page, you create another timer, you put it here. So you can see the difference when you move into the page. And like that, and then you click another one and create a timer. So now you have four different pages. As you see, I can move from one, two, three, four pages and the timer is changed as you can see it's moved to the next page and now on a stream deck screen you don't get the indication will which page you are so of course you can go to page number one page indicator and you call it number one you give it a title and when you go to number two page indicator then you get number two and if you go to number three the same and number four so now every time that you click you know which page are you all right so if i click to the next i get to page number two if i click next page number three page number four for example if you make all this page number one adobe premiere you don't have a place and you want to make a page number three for example on page number three you want to put adobe premiere setting setting for the application number two will be drawing number four will be anything else that you want right so you want to divide it to four pages that cover all the adobe premiere application if you are in page number one and you go to page uh, setting so you can take go to page then you can for example choose number three title setting for adobe premiere right setting you write setting now I'm in a page number one and I want to go to setting of Adobe Premiere. I click on it and here I am jump to page number three. So this is much easier to use it like this than the previous options that you had to use folders. And of course this indicator you can put to the top, you can put them wherever you want. You can put them even here but it's not make sense. So you put it up here, right, left. And this is how you use pages on Stream Deck. Now I have the Stream Deck XL, so I have all the options here. If I change to profile, Premiere Pro, I have all the options for all of Premiere, but this is the folders. So now after 5.1 update is already out, I can consider to use pages. So I have next pages, next page, next page, and then it's move can jump between them and there is no easy way to use the stream deck at this moment this is new update 5.1 for stream deck so i hope you understand my explanation 
If you need any help, let me know in the comment below and I will do my best to help you. And I hope to see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.